What's going on, everyone? I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, coming at you with 2022 Fanatics Under Wraps 2.0 Autograph Baseballs, three box random player break number 21. The last three boxes of this case that we did. I'm just picking out boxes out of this case that we popped open earlier today. We don't have any more after this to post. But keep your eye on the website. You never know when these might come back. All right, so now let's do our randomizing here. Of course, the any and all multi-signed spot will get any and all multi-signed autograph baseballs. So now let's fill in your multiply to your one spot gets you nine. Very good point someone brought up the other day. I think it was Joe Christian, maybe, who was like, so if I have... Here's a good example. If I have Vlad, if I get randomized Vlad Jr. and Vlad Sr., I, I don't get that ball, right? It still goes to the any and all. Yes, that's true. That multi-signed baseball would go to that any and all multi-signed baseball spot. So that was a good good scenario to, to, to bring up. Charles, they've been saying that since the uh, since the 50s, I think. And somehow they're still kicking, still around. I love when people say that. All right, let's roll it and randomize names and players six and a one seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one seventh and final time. Put the results here. Six and a one, seven times. And seventh and final time. Correct, Rex, yeah, I like that too. Especially if it's like five autographs on a baseball, then, it, then the randomizer becomes a little bit of a, bit of a one happy person, multiple sad people. All right. Big thanks to everyone here. <laughs> Dilo, who is a uh, Daniel, who is a Phillies fan, a big Phillies fan saying that if I end up getting a Joe Carter baseball, can I pay extra just to have it launched into the ocean? Uh, no. I will do that for you. I'll just walk right down Pier Avenue here in Hermosa Beach, and I'll toss that into the mighty Pacific for you. All right, so there are the list of players just as is, and now here it is alphabetized by your first name so you can kind of see it all grouped together. So Brandon, there are your players. Chris, here are your players right here. You got the any and all multi-signed baseball spot. There are the rest of yours. Here are Daniel's team. Did you actually get Joe Carter? No, it looks like you avoided Joe Carter. So you're in good shape. Jason K. Kyle Harper. Richard O. Richard O. ended up with Joe Carter. And Tristan, they're your players right here. Is Tr T, is that usually Tristan? Is that usually the last name here, Tristan? What other names could be after Tristan? U names? How many names start with a U? All right, we're gonna pause the video uh, when we uh, come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the three box break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. TWC trade window closed and thinking caps on the world famous Who Am I game. Let's see what we got. All right. 
This guy's pretty good. Who am I? Retired lefty, currently 42 years old. Had a win-loss record of uh, 251, 251 wins, 161 losses. A lifetime 374 ERA and a little over three, almost 3,100 strikeouts in my career. Played for three teams my entire career. Six-time All-Star, a World Series champion, won the Cy Young, won the ALCS MVP, and a two-time Major League Baseball wins leader. Two seasons in a row. Wow. I signed for a $1.3 million signing bonus in the late 90s, which was, uh, which that's, that's a lot back then. I think, he, I think he has a podcast going on right now. He might have some kids come, coming up. Maybe possibly playing in some commercials. Yeah, I think it's the uh, it's a podcast R two C two. It was part of the Players Tribune in 2018 to move to the Uninterrupted Podcast Network. I'm not sure if he's still doing it, but but yeah, there's some interesting episodes there. That's right, Husky Dolphins got it. It's CC Sabathia, and this one I know we had a CC Sabathia baseball last night or maybe earlier today. It's all kind of blurred together, but this one is inscribed. 3,000th K. That's the cool thing about this Fanatics product. There are all the stickers right there. Is that I know sometimes we'll see some repeats of names, but sometimes the repeats you'll often get, you know, but there's enough like different ones. It'll be like just one where it's autographed and one where it's inscribed or something different. So those inscriptions are, uh, are always nice. And I think depending on, I think the inscriptions might give, give the ball a little boost in value than maybe a normal one. Yeah, that was a good one, Husky Dolphin. What uh, what gave that away? I feel like I did. I didn't give too many Sabathia specific clues. Tristan with CC Sabathia. He's a Yankees guy, so he's gonna like this one. All right, next ball coming up. Am I the kind of guy that would like a podcast called R two C two? Uh, shockingly, not enough Star Wars content on that uh, on that pod. Although I haven't listened to it too often, so maybe they started incorporating more Star Wars related content. The Mandalorian drops on Wednesday. If you're on the West Coast, midnight on Tuesday. I guess technically Wednesday, but midnight late Tuesday night. So we get to watch it late at night. Which is perfect because it's usually by the time I finish breaking, tomorrow night, right, Tuesday, by the time I finish breaking, and then I make my, you know, then I close down the shop, make my way back home, then it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much Mandalorian time. I could sit down with a adult beverage and enjoy a little, uh, little Mando. All right, who are you? Ooh, this is on a World Series ball. It's on a World Series ball, ladies and gentlemen. Who am I? A World Series champion. I have a lifetime 259 batting average, 335 home runs, and 1,000 runs batted in. Played on four teams my entire career, an eight-time All-Star, a three-time World Series champion in three different decades. An NL Rookie of the Year, two-time Silver Slugger, and an NL Home Run Leader. This World Series baseball is from my first World Series. That's kind of a cool record to have. Oh, sorry, two decades. Sorry, missed it by missed it by a year. I won a World Series in 1999, in 1996, and 1986. And a lefty. You could say that the team here, this was the his 1986 
football, you could say that this uh, this 86 World Series winning team was uh, was pretty amazing. Yep, D'Lo's got it. It's the straw man, Daryl Strawberry. Your 1986 World Series champ. On an old 1986 World Series baseball, that's pretty cool. There are the two right there. An official 80, 1986 World Series baseball. They should chop, you should chop this in half, D'Lo, and then compare it with the baseball from this year and see how different they are. They say the seams are a lot lower on, on this one. Nice, Matt Wood. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, you can probably put, you can probably put a lot in here, right? Daryl Strawberry could probably tell us how much could fit in the bag. I mean, that's a lot, actually. That's probably too much. Maybe not for Terrell Strawberry. Like, I don't know. Maybe maybe uncut. You might might be able to to put enough there. It's way too much for me. Maybe not for Daryl Strawberry. And Doc Good. <laughs> And the rest of that Mets team. That's probably enough for a Mets. That's probably enough for a team, right? A whole bag of that. All right, there you go, D Lo. Last spot mojo with that Daryl Strawberry. Yeah, is, would that bag be enough, enough stuff for that A1986 uh, Mets team? Let's find out. That, that was a slim looking team, right? Oh, I don't think it was alleged, Rex. I, I, I think he fully admits it now, nowadays. I don't think that's alleged. Uh, here are your Mets. Gary Carter, I mean, everyone probably did it, right? Gary Carter, Keith Hernandez, Wally Backman. Rafael Santana, Ray Knight, George Foster, Lenny Dykstra, Daryl Strawberry, Mookie Wilson, Kevin Mitchell. I feel like Tim Tuffle, no, right? Tim Tuffle doesn't sound doesn't look like a guy that, that, that would do that. But probably, I don't think it's in the, the mid-80s. Howard Johnson, Danny Heat, Ed Hearn, Kevin Elster. Yeah, these guys are all doing it. You know? Uh, Dave Magadan. Dwight Gooden, Ron Darling, Bob Ojeda, Sid Fernandez, Rick Aguilera, Roger McDowell. Yeah, these guys are all. Jesse Roscoe. Oh, yeah. One night, that bag size, easy. Every night. Easy. Good one, Matt. All right. Now I'm gonna have to check mark the unsafe for un, like <laughs> adult content on like my upload of this video. All right, who am I? Uh, I'm a lefty. Hit 287, 174 home runs, 1300 runs batted, or 1300 hits, 630 runs batted in. And 156 stolen bases. I'm a two-time All-Star, a Gold Glove Award winner, three-time Silver Slugger, a two-time batting champion, hit for the cycle three times, twice in 2008, part of the 30-30 club. 2018, where I hit two cycles, that's the year I won the NL MVP. 
I should give it away. Born in Thousand Oaks, California, attended Westlake High School. It's just over the hill, probably about 45 minutes north of Jaspi's sports cards and collectibles. He never thought that... Uh, I heard. Some, I remember some early interviews with him. He never thought he was going to develop into a, a, a hitter, like a power hitter. You know, he always thought he was, he was just going to be a, a slap single, maybe a doubles kind of guy, but ended up developing the power later on. And if you can get, if you can get that back, if you can get that back, that would be good for the hobby, I think. Yep, Chris Butler's got it. Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich, which is going to go to Tristan. Now, again, we've had a Yelich ball earlier, but I don't think we had the NL MVP inscription on on the yellow, or the NL MVP baseball, not inscription. But there's the, there's the baseball, there's the Yelich's autograph. This one already, already looks a little different from that 86 ball, right? Looks a little different. Bay Major League Baseball always fiddling with autographs. All right, uh, Chris Butler, good guess right there. Tristan, good ball right there. You're gonna get the uh, Christian Yelich. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I will see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.